Hi Simon, how's it going? Um, you get over to Paris last night and I see you trained at the Stade de France this morning. Everyone come through okay? Yeah, everyone came through well, Sinead. Um, no issues. Uh, yeah, it's a great service. Uh, looks like it's, it's going to be a fast track as well, so hopefully uh, the weather stays fine for tomorrow. You didn't get caught in that lockdown traffic when you arrived in Paris last night. What, uh, what was it like over there? Uh, we did get caught a little bit, but yeah, it was fine. Yeah, there was no issues. We, we were in early enough and we made it in time to get, to get uh, well fed when we arrived. So yeah, it was, it, it, it's not too bad now. There isn't still a little bit of traffic around, but it's, uh, we, we made it in and out of the stadium um, pretty well um, when we went to the team run. So no, it, it feels like normality for us at the moment. What's it going to be like for tomorrow, obviously, the, the England game beforehand? You know, will you be keeping an eye out on that, obviously, while, while you do your warm-up, or what will it be like? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I think we can't control that, and, and I know it's probably um, been said lots of times, we can only control what we can do. Uh, yeah, na naturally, uh, you know, people have an eye on what's going on, but, it, but ultimately, Unless we we do our job, uh, then you know whatever happens elsewhere is 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 irrelevant. So we we have to focus on what we can control, and and that means getting ourselves right in the warm up and and um, starting the game as well as we can. Simon Michael Corcoran here. Just on that theme, there's a lot of uh, chat during the course of this week about bonus point wins and everything like that. But how important is it that you try and lock that out of your head? and concentrate on the job at hand, and that's to win the Test match first. Exactly, Michael. Yeah, I, I think if you go chasing things, then often uh, you know, that can be um, a, a distraction. So you know, we, must, we, must, um, we must start the game well. Uh, we must you know, take opportunities when they arise. And, and you know, it, sometimes we might go the corner if we get opportunities. Other times we, we may kick, it, kick it the goals but, and uh, try and build a score. You know, I, I don't think... I don't think um, coming to Paris uh, and, and you know getting you know a win is is uh, something that the Irish teams haven't had huge success over the last 20 years. Um, but we saw in, in 2018 uh, that we, we stayed in a game and we were able to to effectively win a game uh, late on. Um, that may be well be the case tomorrow. It may well that the game opens up a little bit. So. We have to focus on on uh, winning the game first, Michael, and then and then after that we we um, you know we reassess probably half time and, and as the game's going, um, you know, the players have full license to to, you know, to to make good decisions on the pitch uh, and the right times and Johnny and the other leaders will will do that uh, as they see fit. Now you've been to Paris before to start the France as a, as a player, you've been there as a coach. I mean, what's unique about the place? Um, and what are the lessons you've learned over the years about playing there? The crowd would have been unique uh, for some players to experience, but that, that's going to be, the, I guess, a bit unique uh, for players not to experience that. But uh, there'll be players that have been there in the past, Michael, and have won. There'll be players that have been there in the past have lost. But there will also be a lot of players that won't have been there before and they won't have any hang-ups about the Stade de France. Uh, you know, it's, it's clearly an impressive uh, place. Uh, when we arrived there today, um, players who haven't been there before took it all in, but there shouldn't be a fear factor of going there because you know, a lot of them haven't had those uh, you know, experiences that I might have had as a player at, at certain times. You know, I think it's, it, it just presents you know, a cracking opportunity for us tomorrow uh, to go and, and uh, express ourselves uh, and, and win a game of rugby and, and then off the back of that, um, you know, if we need to get certain things out of the game, then then we'll obviously um, have to do that. But you know, w what an opportunity! Um, you know, Super Saturday is it, set up so nicely. It's taken you know seven or eight months to get to this point for us, but uh, you know, after the performance last week and and the work that the players have, have put in this week to to get ourselves uh, into this position, um, you know, I can't wait to see them go out and, and perform tomorrow. I'll see uh, Bond match. No problem. Uh, Simon, um, I'm just thinking about the um, you know the breakdown interpretations and changes um, in in the in the laws and uh, how that um, how that's maybe helped you guys. Obviously, 
you know, you, know, you, you pick accordingly. But you've got so many guys in, in your pack uh, who are so strong over the ball. Um, and, and so, and, you know, it seemed like uh, it's against Italy, you know, working really well as a unit to, to be able to um, take advantage of that situation at the breakdown. Um, how pleased with you are you uh, with, with how that's going, and especially in regard to, obviously, the, the, the newer guys coming into that, that, that mix? Yeah, I, I think that's yeah, it's definitely a strength of ours, but it's also um, you know a, a, an area that, that we need to to make sure that we're spot on on the other side of the ball uh, against a French side that has plenty of guys that can do that. Um, the work that's gone in, in you know since we finished uh, post um, sorry pre lockdown, you know, the, the the laws haven't changed, but they've been I guess they've been enforced or amended slightly and. and uh, I think that has given an advantage to a team that can get a player on the ground and isolate him and and get on the ball quicker. And that 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 play has been rewarded um, sooner than, than than it might have been when we were playing uh, previously in the Six Nations before lockdown. But a lot of that work has been done in the provinces, um, and you know I think that's you know credit to the guys that have, have gone away. They've worked at their game. Uh, we've seen that um, post lockdown when they. They played a lot of rugby against each other, and 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 you know, had the the reward of, of of that work in the contact um, in the defensive contact area. So, you know, it's certainly a, a strength of ours, um, but it's it's certainly um, an area that we have to be mindful of with the French as well. Um, we were happy with lots of the areas of, of that contact area against Italy, um, but um, you know, France will be a, a different beast again, and and we make sure that. We have to um, you know, we have to win those collisions to to allow us um, to to uh, do some damage uh, to their to their ball speed and potentially turnover. And um, just um, you know, you're talking about the guys now don't really have um, any fear factor of going to somewhere like uh, the south of France. Um, just thinking with that in mind, um, you know, obviously James Ryan probably falls into that category, doesn't he? He's he's he hasn't really had many many games that haven't really gone the way he he would have wanted. Um, can you just give us a word how how you think he's progressing? He's, he's, he just seems to be improving all the time, and he's going into a real leader for you. He is, yeah. I mean, he sets incredibly high standards for himself uh, and, and for others. You know, I certainly uh, I can't speak for him in terms of uh, uh, him being, um, uh, I guess, the big games where he has come off the pitch and, and won, and still been hugely disappointed in. in some aspects of the game because he's he's got such uh, incredibly high standards and you know he's uh, he's he's developed uh, you know himself and and around others into a, into becoming a, a, a really strong um, integral part of our team uh, as a leader both in what he says but but also more importantly in what he does and, and I think that's you know a compliment to to James from you know for all the players they want to they want to follow him in everything he does um, you know he has. He has taken on responsibility, um, you know, both at Leinster and with us, and, and he's taken it in his stride. Uh, you know, there's not many places that, that he'd fear going to, uh, and and you know, I think that's that's uh, you know the the mark of, of the man himself that he's a young man in, in age, but certainly in, in terms of what he's able to deliver at a young age, is he's uh, he's certainly going in the right direction, and, and um, you know, he's someone that everyone wants to, to follow into battle. Okay, I'll take the last one in this section. Simon, just wondering, uh, kind of France more or less know what they have to do um, already, regardless of the Italy-England result. How much of your team preparation has been spent on the opening 10 or 20 minutes, um, whereas we've seen France before, they can fly out of the blocks. So how much of your team preparation is spent on the opening uh, segment? I think that's been something that we've we've certainly um, reviewed during lockdown as coaches and how we can can start the games um, with with more impact and, and not allow the opposition to, to get into the stride, like you say. Uh, yeah, the French, once they get momentum, you know, they become a very difficult team to, to deal with. Uh, so it's certainly a, an area that we have focus for, not just with the French, but with with, with other teams that were maybe um, in the recent history we, we haven't started the games as well as we should have done. Uh, so we have to make sure that we're we're prepared right, and and um, yeah, that means making good decisions at, at you know early stages of the game, so that we're you know that we're not um, we're not chasing things early on. That we we get on the front foot, and, and you know there will be times when we you know, when we 
play a certain way and there'll be other times when we have to adapt and, and, and uh, you know, be able to play a slightly different way and, and I think that first 20 minutes in any game and, it, and it's, it's, you know, the facts are there for, for all to see in, in terms of um, how many teams win games off the back of, of winning that first 20 minutes and, and on the flip side of that how many teams lose having not, not done well in the first 20 minutes. So, it's crucial that we get that, that good start um, and we're building up to that and hopefully that's something that we've put into place over the last couple of weeks since we come back together.